Hello everyone, welcome to 3dDesignAcademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the Revolve tool. The Revolve tool is used to create a circular object. So something like a tire and wheels, or if you, let's say, want to create something a little bit more simple, like a, a vase, you can also use the Revolve tool to create it. Okay, so in order to use the Revolve, uh, let's first of all create some curves. So I'll try to demonstrate by creating a base, flower base. So I'm just gonna snap the curve to the center of the grid at the origin like this. And I'm just gonna create a little bit of shape like that. Just create a curve like this to give it uh, some shape. Okay, so for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna use a multi-span curve in order to make this. This is not the recommended way, but just for this demo, I'll just use a multi-span surface. So let's like this. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of shape like that. Yeah, maybe something like that. And I'm also going to offset these two curves so that we have some thickness. So let's see, I'll go to object edit and I'm gonna hit offset and let's offset that 10 mils. And here we have a hole, so let me just use a curve, connect the curve and I'm gonna change it to degree five and I'm going to use a line tool like this. And maybe I'll just move the CV out a little bit like that, and this one also, just move that out. So that the location, uh, the proportion between, uh, the distance between the CVs are a little bit more proportionate. Okay, so I think I'm, okay, so let me just use extend to make this fit like that. Okay, so what I did was I just created a section of basically a, a blueprint or an orthographic view of the face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a revolve to create a face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to go to under surfaces and you'll see revolve right here. So I'm just going to click on that. And when you first click revolve, you'll see that Okay, so this one, I actually, let me just reset the tool so that I can go to the default mode. So, um, you'll see that the default axis is on the X axis, but when I click on the curve like this, this is not the direction that I want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the direction to the Z axis. So I'm just gonna change it to Z and I'm gonna pick nothing. Click the next one, click the next one. Now, you'll notice that this one is, was created as intended. However, this surface right here, it was created here. And the reason for that is because of the, due to the location of the pivot. So if you look at this curve, the location of the pivot is actually on, uh, on the origin, well, zero, zero, zero. However, if you look at this curve, the, the pivot is located here. So we need to move this pivot to zero, zero, zero. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, Control Shift, Middle Mouse button, move pivot, and make sure the, uh, the mode is into absolute, and I'm just going to press Enter zero, and I'm gonna press Enter, like that. And I'm gonna check that for other curves too. So let's check this one. As you can see, the pivot is located here and if I do a revolve, it's just gonna revolve by itself like that. So what I'm gonna do is do the same thing, move the pivot, Control Shift, middle mouse button, and I'm going to enter zero and press enter like that. And I'm gonna check this curve and looks like the pivot is in the right location. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, again, continue with the revolve. So I'm just gonna click, pick nothing, click, 
click nothing and click okay. and ladies and gentlemen we have our vase okay so this is one way of using revolve and if you're in automotive design the more common way that you're going to revolve use a revolve is by creating a wheel so let me just create some section so i'm just gonna do an edit point curve so let me just create the tire first like this actually let me just grid snap it like that and i'm going to try to create a tire section so right now i have a two degree curve it's not enough data so i'm going to change it to five and i'm going to also add some spans so I'm just going to snap this right here, this over here. I'm just going to move these curves a little bit towards the top so that it looks. Now, this the spacing, if you notice the spacing of the CVs, it's not good spacing. But just for this purpose, I'll just to keep the tutorial simple, I'll just do this. Okay, so I think that's good enough, and let's just create a section for the wheel, the actual wheel. So what I'm going to do is uh, maybe I'll have a section like this, maybe a section like that, and for the center, I'll have something like that. And I'll also create a place for where the emblem usually sits. I'm just going to have move these CVs all together so that we have a little nice dome. Okay, so because we have the section, now we can revolve, use the revolve to actually create the wheel and the tire. So again, like, oh, actually, I don't, I should have, uh, usually because of this is the X axis and um, that's the length of the car. Actually, let me do this. Um, I should have actually created these curves from the rear view, not the side view. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all of those curves and I'm going to control G, group it. And I'm actually going to rotate it so that these section curves are facing this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say rotate, control shift, middle mouse one, rotate. I'm gonna enter zero, zero. And because I'm trying to rotate around the Z axis, I'm gonna press 90 like that. And I think that'll work. Okay, so let me just check the pivot of each curve and make sure that they're at the origin. So I'm just gonna, instead of picking it as an object, I'm gonna say Control Shift, left mouse one, pick curves. And you'll see that the, all the locators are not at the origin, so I'm gonna move them. So Control Shift, middle mouse one, will pivot. I'm gonna press in, uh, zero and press enter, like that. And I'm going to revolve. So I'm going to click on this for the tire. And you'll see that the axis is in the wrong, uh, I picked the wrong axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the Y axis to create the wheel. So press Y like that. Nothing, press and like this. And you know we are, uh, and now we have a very simple wheel design. But let's give it a little bit of spoke design. So what I can do is I can use a trim tool. So I'll just create a very simple five spoke wheel. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this. So I'm going to use project, delete the curve, I'm going to trim. And I'm just going to make this into a five, sp uh, actually, yeah. Let me just uh, duplicate this over and I'll make this into a five spoke wheel. So I'm just going to go over here, edit, duplicate, mirror, and I'm going to mirror across the YZ plane like this. And I'm going to group these together. So I'm going to pick it as an object, control shift, left mouse button, pick it as an object, click, click, and I'm going to group them. And now I'm gonna combine the revolve tool with the duplicate object. And I'm gonna say number, the default is one. So let me just reset this and do it again. So number, because I want to create a five spoke, I'm just gonna 
changes to four, and I'm gonna do the rotation as 72. Now the five, um, as I've explained in other tutorials, um, when you're doing a revolve, you want to, because you already have the object you want to revolve, you wanna, if the, let's say you wanna do a five spoke wheel, then you wanna do five minus one, which is four. And because this is a wheel, you wanna divide the 360 by 70, uh, by five, because that's a number of spoke, which gives us 72. And all you have to do is just press go. And here you have the wheel. Okay, and that's a revolve tool. All right, that concludes this lesson and thank you guys for watching.